I think that bullying needs to stop. I think it was very, very detrimental to my health personally, but it affects, when you're bullied, it affects you more than you realize, because at first, you know, I'm, I'm all fine, I'm acting happy and goofy like nothing's happening, but inside, it's really impacting of your self-esteem, and I think this is why it's important to raise awareness uh, and acceptance, promote acceptance of autism and other things as well. Like anyone who, if you even want to call it deviates from a societal norm, you need to make sure that people are all on the same page. And that's best through promoting acceptance and educating others. Right, a lot of my coping um, mechanisms became obsessions. It started when I was about seven years old. Um, I wanted to, I had this like urge, this uncontrollable urge to wash my hands every five minutes. And, you know, I didn't really tell many people about it because I was all stuck in my head. I washed my hands, washed my hands, washed my hands. Eventually they got infected and bled and I had to wear, I wore gloves so no one could see them, like gloves with the tips cut off the fingers. So, it's because, um, you know, I coped with numbers, numbers, counting, and these little rituals and routines. That's how I got my anxieties out from being bullied and all that. And, um, you know, eventually it became, an, um, it became an issue because it was getting in the way of me focusing in school and doing art. It eventually started to control me. So that's why it's important to get the right support um, because then you can focus on your daily tasks and all that. But yeah, it, it was really stressful, but I see it as it made me stronger too because now I can connect with other people who go through the same thing and stuff. I didn't notice it was an issue really till pre-teens or teenage years because my obsessions and rituals started converting and projecting into the eating, like food, controlling what I eat, and um, it became anorexia. Um, and I didn't know really what anorexia was at the time because I guess I wasn't aware, maybe that's the thing. When you have a condition that's psychological, you're not always aware that, hmm, maybe this person is going through the same thing, but you don't realize how different it can be perceived as. Like, I didn't realize I had a condition. I thought it was just me. You know, reality is subjective and all that, but, um, I guess it's just really, a, how I got the help I needed, um, I started talking about my feelings through art, and that's what helped me get help at the doctor, then they gave me the right medication, which isn't for everyone, but.